Video editing can feel like an absolute nightmare sometimes, am I right? But I found a way to make it literally 10 times faster without the headache of transitions and all these other things that come into video editing. And you guessed it, it's thanks to AI. Today, we're going to dive into my video editor Descript and all the functions that it is capable of with the power of AI. This is how I streamline everything now from recording in app all the way to finalizing and exporting straight to YouTube. I absolutely love this platform. After this tutorial, if you're interested, I put a link down below for you so you can sign up and try it out for free. For those of you who are new here, my name is Maria. I'm a professional photographer and videographer based in Austin, Texas. And I make videos all about photography, lighting, video editing, and AI. So if you like more content like that, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified every single time that I make a video. Okay, so whether you're a content creator, digital marketer, course creator, photographer, videographer, you name it, Descript is absolutely incredible for anyone who needs to edit down a video concisely or you simply just wanna save time with edit. I'm gonna walk you through the exact features that I use on every single YouTube video that I make that take my editing time from days to hours. It has been so powerful and it has allowed me to show back up on YouTube and actually start making videos again. So when you upload your video into Descript, you're gonna notice that it starts to transcribe your video, which is the magic sauce behind Descript. It allows you to edit videos based on the spoken word in text format, which is why I absolutely love this because it's literally like editing a Word doc. If you want to delete text, you just highlight it, press delete. If you want to take it out from the scene but not actually delete it, you just highlight it and click the strike through button and it will take it out of the edit but not completely delete it so you can always bring it back if needed. No more scrubbing through timelines to see what is where. So let's hop into the script and I'm going to show you exactly how to edit. Okay, so here we are in the back end of my script. As you can see, this is the actual video that I am recording right now. I'm going to edit with you guys. Like I said, I absolutely love that it transcribes everything and it's essentially like editing a Word doc. There's a lot of things that like I already know off the bat I can cut and are probably not going to be used in the final video. But let's utilize AI first and see how much time we can save from Descript's Underlord or AI features and then from there we'll put on the final touches so you just come over here to underlord and then you the first thing that i do is studio sound i turn on studio sound so that the audio quality sounds crisp clean and clear then after that you can go ahead and go back to underlord this is my absolute favorite because i take a lot of gaps in between sentences so that the way that i come across on camera is natural but I like taking all those word gaps out to help maintain retention. So all you have to do is click shorten word gaps. It's going to come up with the preference. And my preference personally is any gap more than 0.5 seconds. I want to shorten to like 0.4. That way we're not shortening too much or too aggressively, but it's still choppy, quick, and punchy. That's just my own personal editing style and that's what I prefer. So it's gonna go ahead and take out 44 gaps and shorten them all for us, which is a huge, like that alone is incredible. So let's go ahead and shorten all of these gaps. Okay, so done, did it, like amazing. So we shortened all of our word gaps. So let's go to, right, I'm gonna go ahead and press edit for clarity. And I like to keep it at about a medium intensity, We'll press start and it's going to take out all the things that are just like fluffy words that you don't need, especially the ums, which I love. There, I did it right there. So right here, this word, we can go ahead and check, take it out. And then this is a, this is duplicative right here. So it's and all other, and then I changed it to and all these other things. So yes, we can take that out. And you just go ahead and like filter through and click out what you want to take out. For the most part, I trust the AI to go ahead and do its thing. I'm just going to approve all of them for now. And you can see and imagine how much time this is going to save. So now we exit edit for clarity 
And what we'll do is we'll remove filler words. And what I really like is what I was saying before is, for example, hi everyone, so excited to be talking about this today, video editing. Let's just start it at video editing. So instead of deleting this sentence, if I, in case want to use it somewhere else, or if I want to come back and actually put it back into the video, I just press the strike through so that it's still in the script, but when we start it, I found a way to make so it's just going to start here. Am I right? Okay. Now what's even cooler. So I'm curious to know if you notice anything different about this video right now. I am using Descript's AI visual effects to take my eye contact where I could be reading a script over here and, and reframing, reframing it, it to have, have my, my eyes, eyes focused, focused directly, directly on, on you. you. So it looks like I'm talking to you, but I'm actually reading a script. Pretty crazy, right? What I also find to be super helpful and impressive is its ability to actually have a full library of stock footage that pulls from multiple places. So you could get GIFs, GIFs, whatever you want to call it. But you can go ahead and add in B-roll that comes with your subscription to Descript. So when we think about video editing, we obviously want to make things a little bit more engaging, exciting, and visually enticing for the viewer to stay around. Descript allows you the tools to help increase your retention in a very easy manner. So for example, right here, video editing can feel. Actually, let's start right here. So video editing can feel like an absolute nightmare sometimes. So maybe I want to visually put some B-roll in there of a video editing timeline to give the viewer a visual explanation of what I'm talking about. So I can go ahead and search in stock and say video editing and hopefully we find something like Premiere. Okay, so like this is perfect or oh my gosh, look at this B-roll. This is perfect. So I'm just gonna drag and drop it right on top of that sentence. And now it's importing the B-roll and let's watch it back. Ready? I think I feel like it has blue. Am I Incredible. Now, some traditional video editors who are used to editing on a timeline like Premiere or Final Cut, I still need that timeline view. And I like that they still included it for us who want to see the audio and want to maybe lengthen or shorten certain sections. So like right here, I find that the transition from the word feel to like is a little too quick. So we can just pull it and now it shouldn't feel as choppy. So let's watch it back. Even the word absolute is getting cut too short. So let's lengthen. You can also zoom in. Sometimes I find that it can be a little hard to use these tiny buttons, but you'll get the hang of it. I actually feel like the way that I'm pronouncing the word absolute sounds really weird. So let's go ahead and highlight it and we can regenerate it. So regenerate video. I've already uploaded my voice into Descript so that it can use these features. But this is what I really love about Descript is that you don't have to refilm things. You can actually use AI to just regenerate things and make it that much easier. Okay, so the last thing that I really love about Descript is this feature that you're seeing right now. I am using my DJI Osmo Pocket 3 to film. It's literally just connected to my computer via USB-C cord, and it is filming straight into Descript. So let me show you this setup. So this is the exact setup I'm talking about. All I'm using is my DJI Osmo Pocket 3, my computer to screen share, and then this is actually where I'm editing all together. This setup is so seamless, so smooth. I absolutely love that there's no transferring of memory card into computer than into Descript. It's just all taken care of in one quick pass with one USB-C cord. I used to have to use this if I wanted to use a nice camera filming straight into my computer for the live stream or something. And I don't even have to use that anymore. I just have my DJI Osmo Pocket 3 and Descript. How much easier does it get, you guys? Okay, and then I just wanna talk about one more super cool feature that I'm using in work right now that I thought was very interesting, and it is the ability to translate and dub videos. 
So I'm working on a video right now at work. And along with the ability to translate into a completely different language, you can actually come over here to Underlord and do a lot of other features as well. That's really helpful for just basic filming. So center active speaker, green screen, automatic multicam. You can use this for podcasts. You can use it for Zoom recordings. Generate images. So you can actually use this as an AI feature to generate images. I haven't really used this yet because I rely more on things like Midjourney or Google Veo 3 to generate AI images. But if you want to test out generating images, you could. And you can also use it to create a book of background, which is also incredible. Along with that, what I really could see this being useful for is for marketers, photographers, anyone who's looking to take a long form video and chop it up into a social script or something that is more short form and vertical, Descript uses AI to actually help you find viable clips that you can then launch into Instagram. Hello. Talk about time saving. So it also has all of these different layouts for captions. And it just depends on which platform or which tier you end up using. But if I wanted to put captions on this entire video, there's lots of different ways to do it. The easiest way would be captions. And then you can see all the different formats. If you like this kind of big word, punchy, engaging style caption, you can use that. There's also the one where it like highlights in a specific color and everything's customizable. So if you find something that you really like, you can actually save it as your own personal template. Okay, so TLDR, Descript is not just for professionals. It is for anybody who wants to work smarter and save time, period. It has truly saved me so much time on projects. I really love this platform and don't think I'll go back to Final Cut Pro for a while. Like I, I just find it so much easier and so much cleaner to use. So if you wanna try it out, I put the link down below for you guys. You can start a free trial and check it out, see if you like it or not. I also made a free Notion database of all the AI tools that I use in photography, but also in my marketing career, and it's game changing. So if you wanna see what I use on a daily basis, all the different platforms from Descript to Google Veo 3, to see dance, dreaming of AI, all the way to ChatGPT and the way that I generate my prompts, feel free to click the link down below and get access to my free Notion database of AI tools that I love. Don't forget if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell so you're notified every single time that I make a new video, which is going to be more often because of Descript. As always, I'll see you guys next time and thank you so much for watching. Bye.